Hi folks, welcome back to Mad Ferret Studios. Booty here, and oh, we have snow on the ground! Finally, it looks so pretty! See, too bad it's the wrong time of year to be playing this section of it, because at the time I'm playing this, it is now Memorial Day weekend. My garden of sweet peppers, hot peppers, and tomato plants is planted, along with our herbs. But it looks so nice and festive and holiday-ish, so... Alright, well, so we're going into part 34. The ending of part 33, the previous episode, we had a mysterious witch named Raven trying to get what I'm assume is into the gloaming. So, <clears throat> it makes you wonder who the identity of it is. I say it's Vanessa. Just because of what she's wearing, what she wears during the day, and what her out witch outfit looks like, but I could be wrong. But I guess we'll find out eventually, so let's roll on in. And my controller automatically shut off. Yes, yeah, keep playing. I think Perry's it is done. Alright. Wow! Who ordered the Winter Wonderland? Right? Uh was it me? I'd better go check and see how everyone is doing. <laughs> What the No reason to panic, bring? everyone. She is still a seaworthy vessel. As soon as the ice melts, we'll have the best engineer in Milkwater come over on a tugboat and pull her out into the harbor for repairs. That could be a while. If my forecast is correct, we could be socked in for weeks. Now, let's try to remain positive. Give us right. At the very least, we ought to try and patch the hole in the hull before she takes on too much water. I'll help. That's the spirit! You see, with the right attitude, we'll get through this together! Uh... Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to, um, uh, check on the town stores. Uh... Well, Flib! Flip Flab! Tara, you wouldn't happen to be growing any tea on your farm, would you? Kai's all out of loose leaf tea, and I haven't had a good chai in ages. I'm not, but I could. That would be amazing. Kai said he still has some tea seeds. Oh, but for a proper chai, you'll need a few other things too. Here's my favorite way to make it. Oh, you can't beat a good chai. I don't know if I have anything forgiven. How in the hell did they end up with a hole in the boat? And somebody better get on that. I mean, seriously. Holy sh shit snacks. To quote Pam from Archer. Oh, you're my secret gift giver. How charming. I am. Oh, and well, good I on am. you for not being afraid of a bit of heat. Luckily, I made some strawberry milkshakes to cool down after. You make strawberry milkshakes in the winter? It's my favorite time for frozen treats. You can drink it as slowly as you please, and it won't melt. Huh, I never thought of that. I like the way she mm. thinks. There are no mango lussies, but they're not bad. And can you believe Kai was able to find me some strawberries in winter? He's a wizard, I tell you. What? Who's a witch? Well, oh, I didn't mean literally. What with all the unrest in town? I wasn't accusing him of anything. <laughs> Oh, well, I guess I was supposed to give her a gift of her favorite dish. Okay, and here I was wasting my time creating scrying potions and crystal ball potions, and it was a gift of her favorite dish. Holy cow. Oh, my. Okay, then. At the time of this recording, it has been a very long... It's, a, it's been a very long week in, in the Mad Ferret Studios household. As in uh, crazy ferret schedules, so... No wonder it took me so long to figure everything out. Strange thing. 
This island has seen plenty of winter storms, but none so bad that they took the ferry out of service. Parker and I will get it fixed. My mom's 70th is coming up, and she's not going to take a broken ferry as an excuse for missing her party. Maybe we should have a backup ferry? Uh, just like, just in case. Some people think cabbage tastes funny. Me, I say they've never had real cabbage soup before. You gotta respect the cabbage. And also add lots of butter. <laughs> You're cute, Thomas. Well, it's an exciting start to our day. What do we got going on? Uh, do I have speed spells? No, I do not. I am out of speed spells. Oh, I have butter. I have a butter butter. Just wonderful! I owe you a few free turns at the jukebox next time you come in. Oh, of course, Natalia would be closed when I need her. But she is open Friday through Saturday. All right. I do like it that we kept the fruit we are able to keep the fruit trees through the winter, though realistically, not a one of those would be growing. Alright, ooh, the onions are done! bees are still going. Yay! Alright, Jack, you need to water stuff. Hey, planty! Water some plants for me today? No. Thank you, Jack. Come on, Goyles. Alright, that's everybody. Hello, girls. Alright, oh my god, 420 already? Shit, I gotta go see Perry. Now it's a little late. Gotta change the time back to normal instead of relaxed. Uh, yep, there we go.
Oh, wait, hold on. We gotta stop and look at the woods. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Look at that. Oh, pretty, pretty. Seek Wesley out at his shop in Ravenwood Hollow. He might have the oh, incantation sorry. we need to call a new witch. Oh, that's right. I Zephyr about that. finished the improvements on my wand, High Priestess. I'm glad to hear it. We will need you to be at your full power to face what is to come. Oh, now go to the gloaming. Go check the seeds. Oh, my lord. Here, let's check out our greenhouse. I haven't really been in here. Oh, oh, can we plant? <gasps> Definitely plant some carrots. Green beans, because I know there's some recipes that call for green beans and carrots. Because I have, and I've been able to do them because I acquired them after they were out of season. <gasps> I definitely want wheat. make eight of these for nothing. Sleepy. <sighs> Hello, my love. So we have, oh, Ventrell and other dates. Okay, so let's, oh, Forest Picnic or ble Beach Bliss. The forest's been calling my name. Would you like to join me for a picnic? Absolutely, babe. Yes. Forest in the winter, you can't beat it. We just need a roaring fire.
Oh, even the little crickets joining us. Oh. I love being able to enjoy the peace of the woods with you. Let's do this again soon. Well, I'm guessing the hot springs are about to get more popular. Oh, the onsen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Should I go to bed? Yeah, just bedtime. Oh my god, I forgot to feed my animals. Okay, this is why I need a whirly gig. I know, you need milk. I had wanted to try decocting this. Thank you, Perry. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, Wesley, 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 where are you at, sir? There you are. Yeah, you're open, good. Hi, Tara. Need some parchment or maybe some new ink? Actually, I'm hoping you might have a special incantation in your ancient scroll collection. We need to call a new witch to the Coven Circle. Now that you mention it, I do think I saw something like that when I was doing inventory last week. Ah, here we are. You'll need at least four members of the Coven to cast it round the circle with you. And here's the full list of ingredients for the incantation. You're calling a new witch? Oh, that will pull a lot of magic from the Wellspring. It's unstable as it is. Your High Priestess shouldn't act rashly out of desperation. The island has seen long winters before. Really? When? What happened? Oh, what happened was a bunch of colonists froze. Their leader couldn't resist the siren song of the stones. Hey, I've known plenty of sirens and they're unfairly maligned. It's not their fault since sailors can't steer their ships. Uh -huh. Point is, no one made it out of their camp in the woods that winter. I grew up here in that story, and I bet Thomas did too. That's why he keeps clear. Ah. Right. And it was the call of the gloaming that brought them to ruin, not the winter. Take heed. Goodness, what is going on with the audio and the gameplay? It's like skipping cutting out or fast forwarding and I actually do need parchment paper I can brew Wesley's whiskey because I have the uh, uh, wheat now. Hey, babe, I want you to have this. Oh, wait, well, cool. No, thank you, honey. <laughs> My poor Cleocatra, I have ignored the crap out of you. I am sorry, sweet pea. Meow. Aww, still loving that, aren't ya? Aww, such a pretty girl. The 
time for walking slow has passed. Lighten my feet and make me fast. Thank you, Natalia. I need you. Have you seen that stray cat around? I was thinking it might want a warm place to stay until the storm season is over. Get enough gold ingots. All right. Oh, the crocuses are so pretty. Black tea's come. Oh, the black tea's ready. Yes. Oh, I need to go see Kai. I wonder if he's got more. Jump. I brought the incantation to call a new witch from Wesley, High Priestess. Well done. Ah, we will need a giant lotus. I believe I've seen it past the second pillar in the gloaming. If Terra's going back in the gloaming, I'm going with her. Very well. Violet, Let like me know when you're ready, and I will place a keystone to open the second pillar. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Okay. I'm ready to go past the second pillar, High Priestess. Very well. Novice and herbalist, take your places on the portal. Just for safety, I'd almost send a mirror with us. Ah, oh, look at all the sparkly flowers. You really are a magpie, you know that? are you? Woolweed! Okay, this is exactly what I need. Now I can do zephyrs. Tara, look! Another echo blossom! No one seems to be taking Shelby's prophecy seriously. Lena and Giacomo just want to keep the town from finding out about us. Arno and Kaya are too busy planning their move back home, and Hazel seems distracted lately. But I can't forget what Shelby said. A daughter of the coven will be in mortal danger. I will protect Violet, even if I have to do it alone. There... was a prophecy? About me? Why didn't anyone in the coven tell me? It really is my fault she came in here. She was trying to protect me. You can't blame yourself, Violet. It is not your fault. You were just a kid. I'm going to find her, Tara. No matter what, I need to know what happened. You're pretty. 
Oh, please tell me I still have spirit flame. I do. Good. Oh, how pretty. Look at that. Is that what we're looking for? I think. Yes. Yes, it is. Go get it. You go get it. Yeah. I would, but these are new shoes. Oh my god, Fine. Violet. <laughs> oh, I guess I'm too heavy for it. Rude. <laughs> we need levitation potion. Have you got some? Obviously. What kind of witch would I be otherwise? Okay, great. Now, drink it. What is it with you and making me guinea pig these random potions? How do you know it's safe? Well, if it isn't, Amir will fix you right up. <sighs> Why do I let you talk me into these things? Oh, it seems to be working, and I still have all my fingers and toes. Any extra ones? What? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Violet. Oh, wow. Oh, how neat. Do I dare plant something? Oh, it's a bean seed. That's why. Oh, okay. Oh my god, something else to come in and water. <laughs> Jack. I need Jack 2 in here to do this. Okay. Can we explore a little bit more? See what's here? Oh, we are so exploring. Look like my wand is strong enough for this. Oh, oh, it's another echo blossom too. Okay. Ugh, doesn't look like my wand is strong enough for this. Well, that way is out. Oh my god, I'm prancing and bouncing like a bunny. Magic. I could drink a potion to recover some magic. Oh. oh yeah, I have magic potions. Oh my gosh. One more. I have one spirit flame left. Hello. Is that another Echo Blossom? The newest witch Amira seems to have gotten very, very close with Perry. I hope Perry is honest and tells Amira what she told me once. As much as Perry enjoys the occasional mortal distraction, she only ever loved Vivian. Like, great, great Aunt Vivian? What? Wow. Wow, wow indeed. What are you? <gasps> Wolfsbane. Uh, I guess it's the end of the road for now. Okay. Well, I love the way I'm prancing. It's absolutely hilarious. All right. <gasps> Wait a minute. Oh, this is where you get that one fish. There's one fish I don't have. And you can only get it in the gloaming. Distill it into essence of joy. Oh my god. Uh, it's one thing to catch him and sell him to Bruno, but. Well, okay. Let us. Traverse on. 
Whee! And back we go. And now I'm back to normal. How do you know that another witch is going to just join us? The Wellspring has a way of calling witches from all over the world. Sometimes people who move here don't even realize that they're witches, like you. Glad I brewed extra gold. Huh? Need my drink, of course. Violet. Here is the summon witch incantation, High Priestess. Well done. Everyone take your places while I prepare the incantation. Tonight we call one who may aid us in our magical workings. Join your brothers and sisters of the Fairhaven Coven. Together we stand, witches all. Demanding that you heed our call. <gasps> Francis! Oh no. I fell asleep in front of the TV again, didn't I? Angus! Angus, wake me up! This is no dream. And do not be afraid. You're among friends. There really are witches here. Angus was right! Look. I'm not one of you. I don't care what you might have heard about my brother. I had nothing to do with that. Fabio may have the gift as well, but you've got it in you to be an even greater witch than your brother, Francis. We need your help. Fairhaven needs your help. You're not listening to me. I'm no witch. What was that? Ah! The fuck? Francis, wait! No, no, no! Stay away from me! I'm warning you! What the fuck? Uh... What just happened here? Okay. Uh... Wow! Well... Mind that no one finds your sanctum. We need to get back home. Is it? It is! A recipe! Ooh, Beef Wellington. Is it? Oh, it is a recipe. <gasps> Duck a l'orange. Oh my god. Dervel works at a hospital and he usually ends up working Thanksgiving because of course it's holiday pay. So when he the Thanksgiving tea work, I'll make us duck uh, versus the traditional turkey. Turkey is okay, it's overrated, but um, I did. I was gonna try to make duck larange last year, and I looked at when I looked up the recipe, I was like, this is great, but a little too complicated for me. But some someday I do want to try making duck larange. 
because duck is a great alternative in turkey, especially farm raised. I'd much rather have duck any day. Have any luck growing the tea? Yes, it's ready. Fantastic! Would you mind coming with me then? I promised Cameron I would bring a pot of tea for our meeting. Meeting? I didn't know you joined the League. Oh, I didn't. It's... well, just come. You'll see. Meeting? What meeting? What meeting is this? What are we doing? Tara! How nice that you're joining us today. What? She brewed a pot of chai for our meeting. What type of meeting is this? It's a weekly sobriety meeting we hold here at the Consciousness Center. It's open to the community, but so far it's just been Giva and me. Oh, come on, Tara, sit down. We won't bite. Giva, last week we were discussing how winter can make it more difficult to stay in recovery. All those long hours indoors. Yes. Being outdoors working during the day helps, but nights are hard. I've wanted to go into Damon's bar more times than I can count, just for some extra company. But I've held fast. I'm proud of myself. You should be. Every day without a drink is a victory. <gasps> oh, uh, we're not open for regular service just now, Bruno. Oh, <clears throat> excuse me. I uh, thought I read on the notice board there was a meeting today. Yes, Aww, absolutely. Welcome. Oh, yeah. Oh, Bruno, sweetheart. I expect the lakes will be frozen over soon. Always did love a day of ice fishing. Just gotta find my old auger. It's around somewhere. Hey, Giver! Uh, what's new? Well, my drone was new, but now whenever I send it up, the data it sends back is just rubbish. I must have broken something when I crashed it over by Violet's house. I'm hopeless with new technology, I suppose. It's so disappointing. These drops-ons could have really helped unravel the mystery of this island's bizarre weather. Okay. I'm sure someone tampered with the ferry, but we'll get to the bottom of it. Or maybe it was just the storm that damaged the ferry? Terra, Terra, Terra. The simplest solution is usually the correct one. Um. And that solution is that a witch broke the ferry. Exactly. Oh my god. Oh, Lord have mercy. You gotta be kidding me. Hi, Tara. Good to see you here. D do you come often? No. Uh, not really. Well, that's okay. Everyone has to walk the path at their own pace, as Messenger Cameron says. I grew up going to Mass, so it took me a while to feel comfortable here. No, and Francis's snarky remarks don't help. Hey, you're entitled to your beliefs. Don't worry about what others think. Don't worry about what others think. Hello, have you even met me? <laughs> I can't help it. But you're right, I shouldn't care so much. Look, I feel real acceptance here. Like I can be in charge of my own destiny, you know? It's about hope. That's nice. It's not for me. So. What am I going to do now that the ferry's not running? I was waiting on some specialty woods to be delivered, and my work is pretty much the only thing keeping me going right now. Totally interrupting your service, Cameron. <sighs> I just love going to the Onsen on a cold winter day. Warms me up even better than my forge. Alright, I'm getting out of here. Well... Oh, cream and mushroom soup, very nice. Forgot it was Sunday. Where's Violet? We gotta go find Violet. And Thomas. Where's Violet? Sweet holy mother of this saves me so much time. You're amazing, Tara.
Buy them whenever I can. I have some of her stuff. She likes tiramisu. Unfortunately, I think I ate her tiramisu. She does. Butter her up a little bit. Is that pizza? I will never say no to pizza. <laughs> Thanks. Great. Now we're completely trapped on an island with a bunch of people who actually thought my mom might be a witch. Awesome. Oh, poor sweetie. Come here, Francis. So we're completely cut off from the mainland? Milkwater isn't exactly a cosmopolitan city, but at least they have, like, a museum and some restaurants. Appreciate it, Tara. Nice work. Yay, I can grow cotton again. I can put on the loom to make more material. So I'm not sure what I need the cat for, though. The daylight yawns and goes to bed, and now the moon comes out instead. Boom. It's making me crave wedding cake now. Hmm. 
Ooh, I see a mandrake. I am just going through these like nothing. I hope we can convince Francis to come back. That was a pretty shocking way of learning he's a witch. Ideally, every witch's discovery of their powers would be more like yours. Someone you love and trust helps you realize what you're capable of. But right now, we don't have time for that kind of gentleness. I mean, this wall I can. I'll need a levitation potion to get across here. Are you sure? I just can't, you know. Just like, try to jump across. And go to water the other plants. Oh my god, I'm so sick of watering plants. Oh shit. <laughs> Are you wilted too? Ugh. Unfortunately, I don't have a choice because I don't have the stuff I need to make a reverse time spell. Oh, lordy. Do you need watered? Yes, of course. Still brewing.
ready for bed. <laughs> Francis asked me about, like, staging an intervention with Angus about his membership in Cameron's Consciousness Center. I don't think Angus sees it as a problem. And I'm definitely not getting in the middle of that. As well you shouldn't. Probably a wise idea, my love. Takis. Mm, yummy. Oh, I'm out of the cabbage. I need stuff to sell to, uh, Sophia. Give Sophia a strawberry decorate. She likes this. Oh my goodness, sorry. Out we go. Hello, it's a hummingbird. Shed.
I do have a reverse five. Okay. Silly me, I thought I didn't have it. takes mandrake oh my god everything takes mandrake See, I was on the wrong one. Shit, I got a lot of produce. I think we're good. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, you girls are out. Holy crap. everybody. Zephyr's closed. Yeah. 
All right, can I summon... Can I do a summon night spell? Let's find out. A snow, maybe? No, can I need ink? That should it. The daylight yawns and goes to bed, and now the moon comes out instead. Tara, good. I was just about to send someone for you. We've called an emergency town hall to discuss the ferry. Now, folks, I know you all have questions about how we'll get on until the ferry's fixed, and we'll answer those. But first, we must figure out what oh happened to the ferry. Parker and Thomas have checked her over from stern to stern and <clears throat> found nothing suspicious. However, I still wonder if the ferry wasn't just damaged by the snowstorm. Maybe someone tried to put the ferry out of service. Uh, I really think it was the ice. Citizens of Fairhaven, this is your chance to serve your community. Oh my Did any God. of you see someone tamper with the ferry? Oh no. Oh, Not this again. I saw something. At night, Marty has gone down to the shore oh. near the ferry. A lot. Uh, now, Angus. Shit. No, Angus doesn't mean it. He doesn't know what he's saying. Are you saying I'm not smart enough to understand? Of course not, Carino. You're, you're brilliant. It's just that you're also kind and thoughtful and, and... I know what I've seen. Marty says he's a rancher, but he doesn't know anything about animals. Why is he here? I just passed my animal science classes. I never tried to hide that. We know there's a malcontent in Fairhaven. If Sophia wasn't one... Then that person is still out there. I bet my bar auto paid you to say that. It makes his only political opponent look even worse. I'd never bribe someone. Besides, I won the election. By Otto, one. you know I don't like these spectacles, but something about Marty doesn't add up. Thomas, you are literally my neighbor. Not by choice. Don't fret, Marty. You'll have a fair trial, just as Sophia did. More than anything, I want Fairhaven to feel safe. That's what I'm committed to, not my own personal benefits. <laughs> Whatever, you dude. oily double-crossing! I'm sure there's no need for that. Shut That's up, right. Let's take a week to cool our heads and let Marty prepare. We'll meet back in Town Hall after seven days. That will be all. This oh is even worse than last time. No theory means Otto's power tripping. He's the worst. I want to knock that smug look right off his face. Thank hey, you, Violet. Though, I'd hate to be Francis right now. If you thought you had to learn about the Coven fast. Oof. He's had a rough few days. We'll hear all about it at the next Coven meeting. Oh. God. There's no such thing as a malcontent. Angus says we have to... Agree to disagree. Holy shit. I just don't get it. What did I ever do to Angus? I mean, okay, maybe I forgot to get him and Francis a wedding present, but I hadn't really lived here that long, you know? Angus, have you lost your mind? You have, technically. I love any excuse for fireside snuggles with Francis, but I'm worried. What if a malcontent tried to sabotage the ferry? OK, 
Okay, stay warm, Terra. The less frostbite I have to deal with this winter, the better. Uh, I hope the ferry isn't busted for long. I can paddle pretty far, but like, not all the way across the Fairhaven Sound. I wonder how my mom and dad are faring on the other side of the Fairhaven Bay. Maybe the storm wasn't so bad over there. I suppose it will be some time before I can visit them again. Well, this is a moral quandary. I don't think Marty's a witch, but maybe he is whatever Cameron keeps on talking about. A malcontent? He certainly has made life on my farm less content. Oh, goodness. <sighs> I can't help but wonder if someone did tamper with the fairy. If anyone can fix it, though, it's Parker. And I'll be happy to take a torch to anything that needs welding. Messenger we must come here. together as a community now. A crisis is the opportunity that the malcontent seeks to sow chaos. Oh, dear lord, dude. I've got enough goods in my storeroom to last for a couple of weeks, but after that, I can't restock if the ferry isn't running. that no one fuck well things just keep getting better and better all right folks i think we're gonna stop it there <sighs> another uh gin to deal with and this one's even meaner than the first one so great Alright, thanks for joining me on this one, guys. Um, please like and subscribe. Come join our Mad Fair and family. You are welcome. And I will see you all, talk to you all in the next episode. And God knows what will happen again. So, bye for now.